Hello everyone, Lady Phoenix here, and welcome back to some more Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. In the previous video, we made it to the Deep Dark Woods and met a character by the name of the Father Oak Tree that, as usual, Drippy continues to insult just like he do everyone else. And we also made it to the Whispering Waterfalls because apparently Father Oak said that the Guardian here has been on a rampage as of late. My guess is that he's broken hearted by Shadara, but let's see what's going on. And as I mentioned several times in the previous video, we're gonna have a boss battle. Guess who it is? And already, he's bossing us around. Where? I don't see anyone. I'm, I'm with you, Oliver. I don't see anyone. Oh. Okay. Well, if he's the Guardian, I'll take your word for it. Okay, our first boss fight against the Guardian of the Woods. Now this guy is pretty easy. Like I said, typically when someone gives you a, a spell in this game, you may want to go ahead and use that spell. And in the previous video, Father Oak did give us the fireball spell. Now what you could do is kind of cheese this battle a little bit. I like going against him head on for a little bit before actually bringing him in and I'm actually gonna make my smitey here cancel thank well well this is a, a another mechanic in the game it's defending De basically defending cuts your damage down a certain percentage I, i'm assuming half or something like that and it also prevents your character from being knocked out from deadly moves like this usually when an enemy or a boss is about to go ahead and do something powerful that charge it'll charge itself up to charge the attack up before it actually goes it, because it gives you time to defend because you may be in the middle of attacking and usually when you defend successfully it, it'll say nice and uh glims will fall out and if you're in the middle of the, a, a command you can always hit cancel and you'll cancel out now before i go ahead and continue fighting with oliver i want to heal up a little oh glim Oh, I forgot to mention, Drippy does drop glims every now and then for you, so he's not completely useless, useless. And he does help you out from time to time. Now, this guy is a plant-based plant monster, so he's weak to fire, so this boss fight is going to be a piece of cake. What you could do is just continue to use Oliver and continue to cast Fireball. And I want to actually do this tactic because I want something to show up called a Golden Glim. And what a golden glim does, it, it, re it will restore your HP completely and, and, and it will allow you to do a super move or a special move. Limit break, however you want to look at it. <laughs> or miracle move as this game calls it. But it's a pretty big move. Every character and every familiar has one of these miracle moves. Get the damn... Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'll beat you. I'll beat you. I'll beat you. Oh, he beat you. Okay, this might knock me out of the animation. It did. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to ow, show that off, which is very unfortunate. But whatever, I still beat him. But that's what happens when you don't defend against a very powerful move from a boss. Oh, also I forgot to mention that I did level up Oliver and Smitey up by one level, so now they're on level 5. Which is good. I like to be on level 5 before I fight the boss, but it really wasn't needed. The boss is very easy. Unfortunately, all bosses not going to be like that. But whatever, it's the first boss. It's supposed to be a piece of cake. And whenever you defeat a boss, you usually get a page that goes inside of the Wizard's Companion book that'll explain much more detail about the boss fight. I'm assuming it's a story. I've actually never read it myself, but like I said, the stories in the, in the uh, Wizard's Companion is actually pretty interesting.
Yeah, we did cast a lot of fireballs on him. I almost cast Burning Heart on him, but he knocked me out of my animation. The old jerk. And thankfully, the game is kind enough to just take us back there. We don't have to manually do it ourselves. Hmm. You did well to calm the Guardian of the Woods. And I found what I was looking for. But first, a gift. By way of thanks. Gee. You are on a roll, by your man. I entrust to you one of my closest companions, the Telling Stone. His knowledge of our world derives even my own. I thought he might help you on your journey. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, he will tell you anything you wish to know. And the other thing, the locket. This is what you came here for, is it not? It is a vessel for fragments of the human heart. To rescue the heartbroken, you will need the locket and the spells required to use it. I will give you those as well. Thank you so much, Old Father Oak. Hmm. Such a well-mannered child. Unlike some I could mention. What? I... All right, all right. Ta, Bugface! Hmm. Some things are as unchanging as the forest. No matter. You had best be on your way. Now, boy. You must come and see me from time to time. And tell me of your travels. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Let's be off, shall we? Time to head back to Ding Dong Dell and mend a broken heart. Okay. Okay, now the Telestone basically tells you a lot of things. Um, what I really use it for is the dangerous places, and it'll tell you the amount of, well, almost the amount of different colored chests that's in the area. Also, I like to go to the creature thing, and it'll tell you all about it, how much EXP is worth, how much uh, guilders it will drop, um, items it'll drop, the habitat, the tricks it'll know, the, the strengths, the weaknesses, and also at some point in the game you will be able to mug enemies. It also tell you what type of items you can mug from an enemy. Sometimes these items are very, you know, very good to help you get even better items later on in the game. But that's for later. But that's what I mainly use the Telling Stone for. So let's go ahead and head on out of here. Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. I don't need to save or heal because I leveled up. Like I said, every time you leveled up, your HP and MP is automatically restored. But that only applies to your characters, not your familiars. Remember, your characters and your familiars share the same HP. But what I'm actually going to do is actually meet you guys at Ding Dong Dell. There's no point in showing you guys this little small track. Gotta save all the time that I can because the last three videos has been... Oh, I want to beat this guy up. So I haven't shut off this enemy. After this enemy, I'll cut. Haven't seen Pumba in action. Let's go! Poor Pumba. I actually like Pumba. Get two hits. Alright. <sighs> eh, not impressive at all. But I will cut ahead and meet you guys at Ding Dong Dell. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, I'm at a draw point outside of Ding Dong Dell, and it's some spring water. We're gonna need this for an errand that's gonna come up very shortly in the game. 
Might as well get that sparkly too. I'm just getting all the sparklies. I'm not even paying attention to Ding Dong Dale. Oh, please don't hurt me. Please don't. Oh, you're gonna catch up. You're gonna catch up. Yeah. I have taken my ass to Ding Dong Dale. But no, I decided to get greedy. That's also an item that we're gonna need for an errand very shortly. So it's actually not bad that I actually showed those draw points out. Like I said, draw points don't take forever to respawn. I'm not sure exactly how long it really takes, but eh, consider amount of time. Let's just say that. I assume. Looks like he's still the worse for wear, huh? Mr. Drippy, we have to help him. Right, though, Ollie boy, I better explain how it's done then, innit? First thing you'll need to do is to take the locket Treeface gave you and fill it with the piece of heart our friend is missing. Uh, the piece of heart? That's right, one of the bits we're all made up of deep down. The bits we're made up of? I don't understand. Hmm, how can I put it? Ah, just give it a go, you'll soon work it out, man. First off, what that guard's missing is a uh, drop of good old-fashioned enthusiasm. Uh, Find some and give it to him, and he'll uh, be right as rain. Okay, but where do I find enthusiasm? Well, now, feast your eyes on that other guard but there. He's got more get-up-and-go than a sack of squirrels. If he hasn't got some enthusiasm to spare, I'm a monkey's uncle. Ask nicely, and I'm sure he'll give you a lend of it. Sure, I'll try my best. If he's all enthusiastic, why couldn't he just open the go the gate? Screw this guy over here. Whatever. Hey, dude. Well, why not? And the doorman too. That works too. He's pushing me over with the damn fish staff thing. All right, let's cast. Take heart and see how it goes. Tidy. Looks like you got yourself a locket full of enthusiasm. Now, you just got to give it to our friend over by there. Okay, here goes. All right, let's talk to Mr. Dopey here. Now, if you don't remember it for whatever reason, or just going through button inputs fast, faster than normal, the game will tell you no. Or, when I mean the game, I mean Drippy. Trust me, I, I'm speaking from experience. Like I almost just did it there. <laughs> Beautiful! It worked! Neato! Uh, tidy! Looks like he's back in the land of the living! What's happening? Where am I? Well, 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 you're back with us, I see. Yes, I, I feel so strange, as if a weight has been lifted from my heart. I feel better. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I was worried about you. I'm sorry, I wasn't myself. But I'm back now, and ready to work harder than ever. Well then. These fine people have all come to visit our great kingdom. I think we'd better let them in. Indeed we had. <laughs> this way, everybody. Uh, yeah, about that. We don't have that, and we don't even know what those are. No. Okie dokie. Oh, 
loud we are in. Ding Dong Dale, the Cat King's Castle. This is a pretty awesome town. Well, okay, I guess that didn't really deter us. If you were gonna take us there anyway, so whatever. Okay, I'm actually going to end the video here, and in the next video, we're going to go ahead and go visit old Teen Con- te the, blah, the King. I almost gave up his name. <laughs> the King. I think- will they let me go out here and say- please, please say yes. Drippy, don't stop me. Just let me go out here and say- okay, awesome. Though, I could have probably saved in town. What did I just do that for? Whatever, I'm- I'm lost. Anyway, you guys take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.